have already learnt about the sentence in great detail and you know that a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense by itself and does not depend on another word or group of words to do so. It has a subject and a predicate. You have also learnt about the various kinds of sentences based on their structure. Now today we will do a quick recap of the various types of sentences based on structure and do lots of exercises regarding them. You have learnt that sentences are of three kinds based on the structure. The simple sentence, the compound sentence and the complex sentence. So if I say Mark and Jim play tennis every day, this is a simple sentence. If I say Mark and Jim play tennis every day, so they have improved their game. This is an example of a compound sentence. And if I say Mark and Jim play tennis every day after they return from school, this is a complex sentence. So what are the features of each of these sentences? A simple sentence has one main clause, Mark and Jim play tennis every day. Now this sentence has only one main clause or an independent clause and no subordinate clause. And it has one finite verb, play. A compound sentence has two or more main clauses or independent clauses and no subordinate clause. Let us see in our example. Mark and Jim play tennis every day is one independent clause because it can stand on its own and makes complete sense. Similarly, they have improved their game is another independent clause which can stand on its own and makes complete sense. So this sentence is made up of two independent or main clauses. There is no subordinate clause here. It has two or more finite verbs. Play and have improved are the two finite verbs in this sentence. Both the clauses are joined by coordinating or correlative conjunctions. In our example, both the clauses have been joined by the coordinating conjunction. So, now let us look at the complex sentence. Now complex sentence has one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Let us see in our example. Here Mark and Jim play tennis every day is an independent or main clause. We have another clause after they return from school which is a subordinate clause. So we have two clauses in the complex sentence, one independent clause or a main clause and one subordinate clause. Now we have two or more finite verbs in a complex sentence. In our example we have play and return, two finite verbs. The clauses are joined by either subordinating conjunctions or relative pronouns or relative adverbs or question words. In our example, the clauses are joined by the subordinating conjunction after. Now that you have done a quick recap about the three kinds of sentences and their features, let us do a lot of exercises. Identify the type of sentence given below. The batsman hit a six and his fans cheered. Let us first identify the clauses in this sentence. The batsman hit a six and his fans cheered. So there are two clauses and both these clauses are independent clauses because they can stand on their own and make complete sense. The batsman hit a six, his fans cheered. 
and both these clauses have been joined by the coordinating conjunction and so this sentence is a compound sentence. You will notice that we have one finite verb hit and another finite verb cheered. So we have two finite verbs in this sentence and we know that a compound sentence always has two or more finite verbs. Jenny's mother and sister are preparing the snacks for the party. Let us identify the clauses here. Jenny's mother and sister are preparing the snacks for the party has only one independent clause. The entire thing is a clause which can stand on its own and this sentence has only one finite verb are preparing. Hence, this sentence is a simple sentence. We are planning to go to London this summer. This entire sentence has how many clauses? It has only one clause. We are planning to go to London this summer. Now, this clause is an independent clause which has one finite verb. Are planning. The other verb here, to go, is not a finite verb. It is an infinitive form of the verb. So this sentence is a simple sentence. John, who is a benevolent man, travels around the world raising money for his charitable foundation. Now this sentence is a long sentence and it has many clauses. Let us identify the clauses. John, who is a benevolent man, travels around the world raising money for his charitable foundation. This sentence has a main clause. John travels around the world raising money for his charitable foundation and it has one subordinate clause, who is a benevolent man? Now this subordinate clause is describing John. So it is doing the work of an adjective. So this is an adjective clause which is starting with the relative pronoun who. We also see that the subordinate clause has one finite verb is and the main clause has a finite verb travels. You will note that raising is not a finite verb but the participle form of the verb. So this sentence has two finite verbs. Hence this is a complex sentence. Mary and Sally were shopping when they met each other. Now this sentence is also made up of many clauses. What are they? Mary and Sally were shopping is one clause. When they met each other is the other clause. Now this clause, Mary and Sally were shopping is an independent clause because it can stand on its own and makes complete sense. When they met each other is a subordinate clause. It is doing the work of an adverb. So this is an adverb clause which is starting with the conjunction when now in these clauses let us identify the verbs in the first clause which is our main or the independent clause we have one finite verb verb shopping and in the subordinate clause we have a finite verb met so this sentence has two finite verbs we know that a sentence which has a main clause and a subordinate clause joined by a subordinating conjunction and has two finite verbs is a complex sentence. You can see that this sentence is made up of two clauses. Although it was raining is the subordinate clause here. The villagers assembled for the meeting 
is the main or the independent clause here and the subordinate clause is starting with the conjunction although now in these two clauses what are our finite verbs we have was raining one finite verb in the subordinate clause and assembled is another finite verb in the main clause so this sentence is also a complex sentence they went to italy for they wanted to see venice what kind of a sentence is this this sentence is made up of two clauses they went to italy they wanted to see venice so both these clauses are independent clauses which have been joined by the coordinating conjunction for both these independent clauses have a finite verb each let us see in the first independent clause we have a finite verb went and in the second independent clause we have a finite verb wanted remember to see is not a finite verb but the infinitive form of the verb so this sentence has two independent clauses which have been joined by a coordinating conjunction and each clause has one finite verb so this sentence is a compound sentence can we go to see the art exhibition today now this sentence is made up of only one clause the entire thing is an independent clause and let us see how many verbs it has go and to see here can is a modal verb go is a finite verb and to see is the infinitive form of a verb so this sentence has only one finite verb go hence this sentence is a simple sentence i am confident that now if you are given a sentence you can analyze how many clauses it has whether the clauses are independent or main clauses and whether they are subordinate clauses you can also identify how many verbs are there in the sentence and so it should not be a problem to identify the kind of sentence it is whether it is a complex sentence or a compound sentence or a simple sentence don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so learning at delta step is not just fun and easy it is also rewarding so register for free now